Hello, my name is Nurse Pauline RN. Welcome to my channel. The title of my video today is Assessment and Diagnosis. Nursing Assessment and Diagnosis. Today we are doing the questions and answers to a video that I have out there on nursing assessment and nursing diagnosis. Please hit the like button, please subscribe, and please share this video. My first question is, what is the nursing process? What is the nursing process? The correct answer, the nursing process, is a systemic guide to the client's care in five sequential stages. The five sequential stages acronym are ADPIE, Assessment, Diagnosis, Planning, Intervention, and Evaluation. These must be done in sequential stages. You do not do intervention before assessment. Assessment is first, second is diagnosis, third we do our planning, fourth we do our interventions, and fifth we do our evaluation. So the nursing process is ADPIE, five sequential stages. My next question is, what are your database assessment? What are your database assessment? Once you admit to your you receive your patient from the emergency department, you're going to admit your patient and you are going to complete a database assessment on your patient. Assessment is first. You always do assessment first. So you're going to complete a database assessment once your patient gets to the room. And the question is, what is your database assessment? And the correct answer is, a database assessment is, an in, is the initial information about your clients. The initial information is about physical, emotional, social, spiritual health of your patients. Your database assessments are your initial overall assessment and it's the first thing you do when you receive your patient, you assess. The next question, what are clients' assessments? What are your clients' assessments. One, your client's assessments can be subjective. It's all about the client. When you assess your patient, if your patient says, I feel dizzy, I am dizzy, I feel as if I'm having pain, I am in pain. Your patient will say, I am nauseated. I, I, that's subjective assessment. The next assessment is your objective assessment. It's all about the nurse. It's no longer about the patient. Whatever the patient says, that's subjective. Your objective assessments, these are examples 
in the emergency room, they all did x-rays and labs and diagnostics in the emergency room before the patient came up to the room. By the time you get to the room, all the results of the diagnostics, the blood work, the EKG, the x-ray, whatever diagnostics the doctor ordered in the emergency room, by the time your patient gets to the room, if you check your computer, you will see the results of all the diagnostics that were done in the emergency room, you will be able to see the results in the computer. So your objective assessments are results and diagnostic reports. Your objective assessments are as soon as the patients come up to the floor, you'll ask your tech, can you do the vital signs on this patient for me? The patient, the tech will do your temperature, your blood pressure, your heart rate, respiration. Your tech will, on admission, that's the first thing the tech does. Your height, your weight, your tech will do all these assessments. Vital signs are assessments. Your client's assessment are related to physical, emotional, sexual, psychosocial, cultural, spiritual, cognitive, functional age, economic, environmental information about your patients. These are all objective assessments. So that's the answer to your question. What are your client's assessment? Your client's assessments can be subjective. What the patient says, I'm in pain. I'm nauseated. I'm dizzy. I feel. You cannot answer these questions. The patient can tell you this. Your objectives are all the things I said, your diagnostics, your psychosocial, cultural, spiritual, cognitive, all of these are your objective assessments. Next question is, assessments and database must be what? Assessments and database must be what? And the correct answer is, assessments and database must be descriptive, must be concise, must be complete. Remember, when you're doing assessments, assessment is first. Intervention is the third one. A, D, D is for nursing diagnosis is second. Intervention is third. So you have to assess first. So your assessment database must be descriptive and concise and complete is your correct answer. Next question. Assessment database of your client may reveal what? After you have taken all your information about your client's data, assessment data from your clients may reveal what is the question. And the correct answer is interactions with prescribed medications. Dietary supplements your patients are taking. We're going to ask these patients all about these data. Assessment data of your patient may reveal vitamins that the patients are taking that's a part of patients' cultural practice. So 
when you admit your patient first to the room, you're going to ask the patients all these questions. We have to know all about the medications they are taking at home. If patients are taking medications at home, we have to make a, a medication reconciliation list. You'll write all the medications and vitamins the patients are taking. The doctors will give us permission to continue these medications while the patients are in the hospital or hold this medication means the doctor do not want this patient to take certain medications while they are hospitalized. We need, we need to know what vitamins they are taking while they are in the hospital because some vitamins, you cannot take them along with prescription drugs while some vitamins, you cannot take them along with certain medications that are prescribed in the hospital, especially if the doctor is going to order Coumadin. We do not want patients to be taking vitamin K sub-dietary supplements. So on admission, your assessment database of your client may reveal which prescribed medications they have been taking at home, which vitamins they may be taking at home, which may be a part of the patient's spiritual practice. You have to make a note of all vitamins and prescription drugs on admission. The next question, this is a very important question which appears on most examination. How is a nursing, a nursing diagnosis different from a medical diagnosis. I'm sorry, I'm going to repeat that. How is your nursing assessments different from a medical assessment? How is a nursing assessment different from a medical assessment? The correct answer is a nursing assessment is holistic focus on clients' response to disease, pathology, and other stressors. A medical assessment focuses on a disease pathology which is done only by a doctor. My next question is, what are assessments? What are your assessments? What do you know about assessments? And the correct answer, assessments involves data collection. Assessments are systemic. When you do your assessments of your patients, after you, um, you collect all those data and information about your patient, you're going to do a systemic assessment of your patient, which means you're going to do a head-to-toe assessment of your patient. Assessment is also a recording data. After you gather all your data on your patients, you're going to record all those data in the computer so the doctor can see all your assessments. Assessment is a categorization data. Assessment is a categorization Rization data is your answer. Next question. Why do we assess patient first? 
during an admission? Why do we assess patient first during an admission? The correct answer, we assess our patients. Correct answer, to find out what is the greatest concern the patient is dealing with. Usually when a patient comes in to the room and we sit down and we are collecting all these data on the patient, we want to ask the patient, what brought you here to the emergency department? What brought you here to the hospital? And the question is, why do we assess patient first during admission? You don't wait till the end of the day to assess your patient. In the mornings when you come in, first you do assessment of your patients. Do not wait till midday. Assessment is first thing in the morning. If you work the night shift coming in at 7 p.m., assessment of your patients are the first things you do. Why do we assess patient first during an admission? And the correct answer is to find out what is the greatest concern the patient is dealing with. We usually ask the patient, what brought you here today? Our next question, how do we assess our patient by palpation? I told you we're collecting subjective assessment, objective assessment data on our patient, and we're going to do a head-to-toe assessment on our patient. Assessment by palpation, what does that mean? The correct answer is feel, touch, touching the skin. We're evaluating for pain. For palpation, you're feeling, patient may say, I have pain here or I may have pain there. You can touch the skin and you can feel that the patient is very sweaty. Our next question is, Assessment by auscultation, what does that mean to you? The correct answer, we are auscultating, we are listening to the patient's heart rate using a stethoscope. We are listening to breath sounds, we are listening to lung sounds. What does assessment of percussion, what does that mean to you? The correct answer, we are percussion, we are using the fingers and hands to tap areas of the body, for example, the abdomen. We are percussion, we are doing percussion. What does assessment of inspection mean to you? When you inspect your patient, we are looking, we are seeing is the correct answer. What do you see when you look at your patient? You can see jaundice. You can see the patient as cyanosis. The patient has blueness. You can see rashes. When you look at your patient's arms in the morning, when you come in, you're going to assess the IV side to see if patient's IV is infiltrated. That's inspection. Please stay tuned to part two. Please hit the like button, please subscribe, and please share this video. Thank you, have a good day.